That's right, Solo. The yeas have it, and Councilwoman Kristen Palmer really led the way on making sure that it got approved through the city council. She wanted to change not only how the vacation rentals are operated within the city, but also how they can or cannot grow. A hotly contested debate in the city council chambers. The book of Isaiah says, rebuke the oppressor. Well, Airbnb is the oppressor. The people who are working to displace people are the oppressor. Nearly three hours of public comment over short-term rental ordinances. The council voted seven to zero for the new regulations. Short-term rental operators in residential areas must have homestead exemption. Renters in commercial areas now have additional fees and permit rules. I feel, um, I feel like you know, we struck a really good balance um, and really, especially the number one priority here was to protect our neighborhoods and I feel like we did that. Several advocates for affordable housing were passionate during the meeting. We want to make sure that the rules are clear and enforceable. That means that there can't be sets of rules for some that are different from others because this will just this will encourage people to go underground and the council agrees this vote is the beginning of solving many more issues within the city these regulations and guidelines should have been put in when this was adopted previously And this debate on the floor, it lasted for almost three hours. Here's why supporters of the new ordinances say that STRs have affected their neighborhoods. They wanted to protect them from being gentrified and, and protecting the housing value, the property value. But also supporters of the STRs, the people who own them, they say that not only are they changing the landscape in a positive way, raising the property value, but they're also keeping local tourist dollars pumping into the city. Reporting from City Council, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.